to the Top Wisdom channel. Today's topic is the influences and challenges of the business environment, which is chapter 1, grade 11, business studies. That is chapter 1. So I'm going to teach um, this lesson today. So make sure you guys listen carefully so that you could understand and just take a piece of paper in front of you and be prepared to write some few notes because I'm going to give you some techniques on how to pass this topic that really worked out for me because I I use those techniques to, to pass at school. So as I've said, influences and challenges of the business environments. I'm going to start with the terms and definition as usual. Term, control, the power to influence or direct people's behavior of, of the course of the events. Organizational strategy, a framework for managers which shows the division of responsibilities and roles played by each stakeholder. Organizational culture controls and influ influences the way in which the business is conducted. Vision reflects or predicts what the future will look like. Mission statement shows what the, what one does best every day in the business and how one should go about doing it. Human resources depend the personnel of the business organization regarded as a significant asset in the terms of skills and abilities. Suppliers, factories, providers of goods or services that businesses would obtain. Competitors, businesses which sell the same or similar product. Deforestation, rem re removal of the trees to, f to clear the land to be used for another purpose. Or e example is industrialization. Redressing, to make amends or to set rights. Nepotism, the practice of showing favoritism no towards one's family mem family or friends in economic or employment terms. Retrenchment, involuntary and ending of a service contrary contract of an employee by the employer due to operational requirements. Go slow. When employees work more slowly and with less effort than usual to try to pursue the, an employer to agree to higher pay. Trade union, an organization, an organized association of workers in a trade, group of trades or professional profession form to protect their right or interest. Strike a work stoppage as a form of protest or to strengthen one's bargaining position. Industrial action. These are actions that include strikes or cost law. Open market. A market where there is no control over who may provide goods and services or over the price that can be changed. Demographics. A statistical data relating to a population in particular groups within often includes age, gender, income, groups, and occupation. Psychographics, the classification of people according to their attitude, of aspiration, and other psychological criteria. Globalization, greater trade and collaboration between businesses or people in different countries, which is enabled by technological advances and communication. Physical environment, this is an environment that is that is comprising of the ecological elements such as natural disasters, air pollution, water pollution, and deforestation, waste products and natural resources. Institutional environment. These are private public partnerships which are formed between government and private enterprises. Redressing to make amends or to set right. Nepotism. Um this this I'm just gonna say another explanation of nepotism in case you didn't understand the first one. The practice of showing favoritism towards one's family members, one family or friends, retrenchment, involuntary ending, saving, contrary, just like that, it's the same definition. So you guys uh, probably got th these notes, uh, that's why I'm reading them fast, because uh, my main purpose is to explain to you the topic and understand what the topic is about and to show you how to pass the topic. So make sure you guys uh, read and understand the terms and the terms and definition, because it will be much uh, it will be much more easier if you understand them. So I'm just gonna pass through this one and uh, components of micro and market and macro environment, components of of the micro environment, the business and mission objective, its management structure. Its resources and its culture are primarily controlled by enterprise management. Market environment. Customers, buyers are the final users of the product. Suppliers include factories, 
providers and goods services that businesses will obtain or buy from in order to operate their businesses. Intermediaries who help to promote or sell the distribute the products to the consumers. Competitors which sell same or same similar products a greater uh, impact on the market. Components of macro environment, physical, natural environment, economical environment, social environment, technological environment. So, so you guys have to understand this. Uh, that's why I told you to pick up a paper, or you can just write on your on your notes. Micro focuses inside the business. Macro. When you talk about macro, we talk about outside the business. As you can see, we talk about economical environment, which is outside the business. We we can't control the economy. It's outside the business. Natural environment or physical environment, it, it's it's outside the business. And um, one another one is uh, legal or political. We can't control uh, which which political party takes 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 it uh, takes control of the country. So it's outside the business control, but micro is inside the business control, and market uh, actually focuses both both on both of them. But uh, as you can see, suppliers, customers in market. Actually, in market, we can control some of them and some of them we can control. I can put it that way. Reasons why the business has more control over micro environment, less control over market environment, and less con and and less control over macro environment. Micro environment. Business owners and managers have a great deal of control over internal environment of businesses, which covers day-to-day decision. They choose the suppliers they purchase, which employees employees they hire. I, I guys, I want you to underline they choose the suppliers because as you can see here, the statement itself explains that we have control because we choose the suppliers. Which employees they hire. The, the products they sell and where they sell the products, they choose what what to sell. They use their skill and resources to create goods and services that will save Satisfy existing and prospective customers. Market environment. Market environment for a business for a business includes company related influences. The market environment refers to influences that have an impact on the success in forming and keeping sustainable businesses such as competition and suppliers. Because competition, obviously, guys, um, competition uh, affects our 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 our. Our, our business, our selling, we can't sell more because of the competition, things like that. There's competition. But when there is less competition, obviously, we can be able to raise the prices, things like that, and sell more. Businesses can influence their competitors by increasing the quality of their products in relation with competitor price. One of the things I want to talk about is that most time, uh, as for you, for example, you want to buy uh, chocolate. I won't mention the brand. You want to buy chocolate. If you see that uh, this specific guy maybe um Spusis who sells chocolate for ten rand and Carabo sells chocolate for, for four rand, you go to Carabo because there's cheaper price. So Spusiso will see that um the buy, uh, people buying from him they are now low. So he'll he will end up decreasing the price. Macro environment. Uh let me just uh, say this one, the last one of market environment. The opposite can also be suppliers. Raw materials can influence the quality of the business products. Micro environment. The market environment refers to the major external and uncontrollable factors. You can underline one external and uncontrollable factors. External. I need you to, to remember this one each and every time. Micro is internal. Macro is external. I also for forgot that one when I was writing exam I think um and uh, it was past five years ago I don't know when I was doing grade 11 yeah I forgot that one I, I, I completely re I remember quite well uh, the market environment refers to the major external and uncontrollable factors that influence organization decision making the factors include economic demographic legal or political social condition technological changes and natural forces the above mentioned factors affect business performances and strategies. The external environmental conditions that affect a business are generally 
beyond the control of management and change consistently. As I've told you that my credit, when we are talking about macro environment, we have no control. We have no control. There's nothing we can do. Ways in which businesses can be involved in macro environment. So now we are we are showing ways where we can at least try to be involved and try to control the situation. Influencing suppliers by signing long-term contracts. By signing long-term t- contracts with suppliers. Creating new users for products by finding new customers. Influencing regulators through lobbying and bargaining. Initiating bargaining sessions between management and, and unions. Influencing its owners using information contain, contained in annual report. Uh, because you guys um, are really interested in passing at school and do not care about anything else. So the best strategy to use is to take the one, uh, the ones, uh, the and underline the ones that say influencing, influencing, influencing. Because they both say the same thing. It's easy to remember when you know, you just, when you're about to write the, inf- the exam, you just write influence, influencing, influencing. Then you write supplies by l- signing long-term contracts. Regulators trying lobbying and bargaining. Then you write its owners using information contained in unknown reports. It will be easy for you to remember because they all start with the same weight. That's how I was passing at school and I was excelling at school. I don't know about you. I don't know how your brain functions, but that's the best idea I can give you. Benefits and advantages of involvement of microenvironment. The business can be more accurately predict future events, threats, and opportunities that may arise. The business can contribute to a healthier, more skilled and productive workforce. It can protect natural resources and meet con- consumer needs in a sustainable way. The business can contribute to wealthier consumers. Benefits. These are all the benefits of it. They are very, very straightforward, guys. The business can contribute to wealthier consumers. The business can contribute. It's about contributing. So you should focus on that. Take the ones that talk about contributing. The business can contribute in its expertise and resources that can influence in public opinion. This is called advocacy. So in the side, just write contribute. It's about contributing. So if you just remember the word contribute, Things will get better for you. You just the right the business contribute to wealthier consumers, contribute to healthier and more skilled productive workforce, contribute to uh, to expertise and resources. Then you remember the rest. Challenges of business environment. Now we are talking about challenges. Um, guys, this one uh usually appears on the case study. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you challenges of micro environment gonna start with micro difficult employees lack of vision mission lack of adequate management skill unions uh, challenges of market environment competition shortage of supply changes in consumer behavior demographic and ph- and physiographics uh, challenges of macro environment change in income levels political changes contemporary legislation labor restriction and socioeconomic issues so one of the things i i, I told you in the beginning is that you should know what is micro and what is macro and what is market. I've already told you. So when you you have the mentality and know that micro takes place inside the business, macro takes place outside the business, things will go well to you. It will will go well for you. They will go well for you. Just remember that thing. And uh, you won't um, swap things there when you write and write the wrong things, write... uh, and and say wrong things and swap things. You you won't swap things. I will just say like that because many people just swap things and take the ones for micro and write in macro. So yeah, you won't confuse things. So explanation of the challenges of the business environment, challenges of the micro environment, difficult employees. Difficult employees may have a negative attitude on new employees. They need a lot of supervision to complete their tasks and satisfy and satisfactory. Difficult employees can do harm to enterprise image if they say negative things about business. Lack of vision and mission. Lack of vision and mission statement will hamper meaningful guidance and lead and leadership to employees. When there is no mission, the business will lack focus and direction and single long-term objective. This also applies to when you are a person who doesn't have any vision or mission. 
everything will just fall apart everything won't really work out for you so you the business should definitely have a vision lack of adequate manager managerial skills Therefore, lack of adequate managerial skills will result to a business not achieving objective. Managers may not be able to provide meaningful guidance and, leana- and leadership to the employees. Managers have different styles in managing and leading, and this can be a source of enormous conflict with other managers and with staff. Inefficient manage- management can affect the productivity and profitability of the business. So this is important. Ma- if a manager is lacking and and does not care about anything the business will actually fall apart so when the manager is a leader and guides people the business will go to the right path the impact of union and trade unions may create tension between management and employees this is possible businesses may not be able to meet the demands of trade unions because trade unions sometimes they demand uh, things that are ridiculous so um if you have worked before you probably know that Sometimes they they end up taking the side of employees too much that they don't care about business owners. Once employees have the grievances against their employers relating to payments, workers, uh, they will declare industrial dispute, and that's when the strikes come. Strikes and cost low. Strikes and cost low may affect the business negatively, as it cannot meet its expected units of products. Employees may not report to work due to complete shutdown strikes. Uh, employees may report to work by work slowly so that the business cannot meet the targets due to, to, to go slow. Differences between a strike and a go slow. Um, I won't stick that much to this one, um, but I'm going to explain it anyway. Um, yeah, I won't, I won't stick that much. So it's, bet- it's, bet- uh, it's better for you guys to listen carefully. Because I've already explained this multiple times, strikes and go slow, I cannot just explain the same thing over and over. So now I'm explaining the difference, so just listen carefully. And I've, and I've written down the strike and go slow, so there's no need for me to write it again. Tempora- strike, temporary collective refusal of employers to work. That's a strike. Go slow, the employees will still carry on with their work, but at much slower pace. That's go slow. As you can see, it's go slow. That alone should be in your mind what it is about. A collective organized the sensation of work by employees to force the, employee, the employers to accept their demand. The strike. The employees aim to disrupt the workplace production because they are working slow. Workers will not be fired if they participate in protected strike. That strike. Workers participating in a ghost law are often punished, sometimes fired. Skills and shortage among employees. Businesses sometimes find it difficult to find suitable employees with skills and experiences. Some businesses end up employing workers who are not qualified to do jobs. To do the job, unqualified employees may contribute to bad decision making, obviously, because they are unqualified and they have no skills, so they basically gonna make um, weird decision. Uh, so this uh, uh, is one of the things which they talk about in the news that there's a shortage of skills. That's why there's high unemployment rate. Uh, for example, let's take a guy um, who is who's studying right now. Some of you are studying, uh, probably will not go to varsity and do not care. That means there will be unemployment and there will be shortage of skills because you don't have any skill, but you want you want a job. High employee turnover. Employee turnovers. Turnover means that employees resign from the frequently. Frequently, they resign frequently. High employee turnover affects productivity, continuity, and recruitment process. Employee absenteeism, employees absenteeism reduces productivity and effective affects pro- uh, profitability. Um, I won't stick to this one. You know, you know it, guys. Challenges of market environment, competition. Other businesses which sell similar substitute products pose a problem to uh, threat success of the business. It is difficult to compete with the business selling the same products and services in certain countries. If a business is not able to match the quality of service products and the price of its competitors it will be a real danger the challenges around competitors can be industry rivalry where businesses aim to sell more competitors 
uh, new entrants with the better products and cheaper or better uh, substitute as you know guys when you um when there's a competition uh most time when they compete just like sales phones for example when they compete they try to be better than others sometimes not about pricing sometimes not about pricing that's why some of the people uh buy iphone which is very very expensive and leave cheap phones but uh, most of the time those cheap phones are actually better than iphones things like that but what i'm trying i'm trying to say is that um some 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 businesses use the strategy quality they use quality and they they don't they don't really care that much about pricing they use quality like brands like uh, apple use quality they use quality to attract their customers they don't really care about uh, the pricing but they use quality and they do have quality some uh, use uh, pricing they decrease price and make sure that their phones are cheaper than others so that's competition shortage of supply businesses that experience shortage of supply may lose customers as they may buy from other businesses raw materials may be unavailable who drought who drought cause poor harvest input imported goods are mo- not arrived when the country of origin has transport or political problems so when the other country has uh, when you try to import good or from from other countries and they have political problems obviously they will be struggled they will struggle to arrive and another problem is that when there's a shortage of supply you see that um if you live at Kasi, you see that if you live at Kasi or been at Kasi, maybe you live um in higher places but if you've been at Kasi, you see that because when you go and you maybe you try to buy at the shop sometimes you can see that uh, the shortage of supply they will tell you and uh, this is not uh, this is not available then you go to another shop that's that simply means they lose customers because there's shortage of supply and uh, changes in consumer behavior the business is dependent on its customers to purchase its products consumers are influenced by many factors and are mostly unpredictable in buying in buying behavior consumers preference and taste can change as fashion change as technology advance changes in consumer behavior spending habit taste and preference present on going challenge to a business so one of the things about the business is that when you when you make a business as time goes by there will be technology to challenge you for example um i won't go back to the old times but yeah let me just go back there the old times we were using dvds now we are using usb so the company that was using tv using dvd has to adapt or the business just crashes down Demographic and in psycho in psychographic consumers attitudes interests opinions and lifestyles determine the characteristics of consumer. It is difficult to determine the demographics and psychographics of the target market because they change frequently. The consumer market is diverse in cultural and social background, which has a direct influence on the choices they make. The challenges include collecting and interpreting information about the target market and to use the data to develop a market strategy. So I won't explain that one. Uh, maybe I will make an individual videos if you guys don't understand it because it might take a long. It might make the video much longer. Social cultural factors. Social cultural factors describe the common behavior and attitude of the particular society. A society changes, so will the cultural values and practices of individuals. Businesses must be aware of the change and that they can avoid threats and take advantage of the new opportunities that the change may present. Businesses should be aware of the social trends and influential campaigns that promote buying. You must be aware when you start a business. Ways in which businesses can overcome competition in the market. Management must ensure that the business differentiates itself from the competitors by tapping into what the cost the customer wants. Wants offering more personal services by being responsive to customer needs and expectations. Offering low cost extras such as improved credit terms changing the lower prices than that of other businesses selling product products superior of this uh, selling products of superior quality new product services that consumer customers might be interested in so when you start a business it's about the customers i i don't care what you desire or what you see it's about what do other people see so when you see so so you should make sure that your product satisfies your customers 
that's that's the that's your responsibility to make sure that the product satisfies the customers such as and uh, the lower cost things that they they might help but when you play with quality you can increase the prices when you have quality products obviously challenges of micro environment uh, changing income level factors such as unemployment high interest rate can leave consumer with less disposable income reduced in poli- in consumer spending with result in lower profit for businesses political changes a change in government can result in political instability scare away polit- pot- potential investors at businesses that rely on imp- imported and exported goods may challenge may be challenged by the government attitude on duties and tariffs to be imposed because the government may increase the taxes and which forces you to increase the pro- the, the price of the product and in change in income levels obviously when many people are, are unemployed most time the buying of your p- the when you're selling products more people are most like are not likely to buy it's like uh, for example going to to countries that are struggling and selling iPhone nobody will go, is going to buy your, your iPhone because it's expensive contemporary legislation the government has established the national credit act and consumer protection act to protect businesses and customers labor restriction the government has passed number of laws which impose Restriction on the business labor practices. This restriction poses a challenge to business that have to find the right candidates for the job. These restrictions make it a challenge for businesses to employ suitable people locally and internationally. So this is straightforward. Micro lending. Micro lending is a granting of small loans to people who cannot obtain credit for banks micro lending puts pressure on businesses since they want to support micro businesses but they are big risk as many many fail to repay and cannot re- many fail to repay they cannot repay the debt then you are you actually lost the money you gave him the product for free micro lending puts pressure on the business since they want to support uh, micro businesses but they are big risk as many fail and cannot repay Globalization or international challenges if in case you don't know what is globalization. Globalization refers to exchange of products, services, capital and labor across boundaries. Local businesses are competing with international businesses for local consumers. Businesses should be aware of global networks and their effects. The overseas migration of skilled labor can result in local skills shortage. That's why most of the thing most of the businesses start to hire people outside because they have skills. Social values and demographics. People's values influence some of their buying behavior habits as they buy products that they identify with. Attitudes towards savings and brand loyalty can impact on consumer habits. People's values influence some of their buying behavior habits. This is not confusing, it's straightforward. Social economic issues. Uh, I've made a video about this one. If you want an explanation of this one, you can check out down in the link. Uh, businesses are faced with many challenges, poverty, unemployment, inadequate education, skills, shortage, crime, and HIV and AIDS. All these make running successful businesses businesses very difficult. So, um, about this uh, micro-environment, most of the time you, you will find um, things like... Um, uh, you find things like a case study, so you must know them. As I've said, micro is full control, market less, which means you can control some, some of them you can't control, macro you cannot control at all. So, this is it. Um, you will find a case study, so you must always remember that one. Example of contemporary legislation Natural Credit Act. This act has an established protect both businesses and consumers. You can underline both businesses and consumers. Consumer po- Protection Act. This is very straightforward. If you don't know this one, then you have a problem because it says Consumer Protection Act. This act promotes an advanced social and economic welfare of consumers in South Africa. It focuses on consumers. Employment Equity Act. This act is is there to eliminate fair discrimination in the business against race, color, age, gender, religion, and disability. Uh, Broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Act. Uh, this is triple B E E. You can just call it that way. You can just write B B B E E. 
This act ensures the previously disadvantaged people fully participate in the economy. This one focuses on black people. As you can see, it's black. So, this one is very important for you guys to remember. I know you won't forget this one. But, um, it, most of the time, this one will appear on a multiple choice. Yeah. Basic Conditions of Employment Act. It deals with constitutional rights in the workplace by addressing issues such as working hours. This focusing on hours. You can write hours on the side. Labor Relations Act. It deals with labor justice and bring healthy industrial relations in, in business between employees and the employers. Write peace with employees and employers. Skills Development Act. The main aim of this act is to improve skills of the people in South Africa and those who are employed by the business. You can just, this one is very straightforward. It improves skills. Compensation and, and occupational injuries and disease, which is COIDA. It provides compensation of disciplinement and death caused by injuries and disease contracted by employees in the course of employment, which is COIDA. This is the injury that maybe injury takes place in the workplace. Uh, COIDA is responsible for that. So if you don't want to waste your time, don't, don't, don't claim this one. Don't study this one too much because they will appear on multiple choice. Don't waste your time. So guys, uh, this is all you need to know about the, this this topic. If you need more videos, just check down on, on my on my channel. Click the playlist Business Studies Grade Eleven. You'll find all the you'll find the chapters of 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 Business Studies Grade Eleven, which will be helpful for you to pass, so that you can maybe if you want to go to varsity, you can apply. You can pass with pass with IMAC and apply with the Grade Eleven results. So guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share the video so that others will get the same information as you. Peace.